Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we had, quite honestly, the most annoying fight of our lives up to this point. But it was very much worth it because we were rewarded with the return of the former Exalt, Emerine. And she could only talk to Robin because romance subplot, I guess. I don't know if Robin could restore Emerine's memory or not, but unfortunately I don't think we'll have time to show this off before the end of the LP unless I just go out of my way to do it off camera, just get them maxed out, and then I'll show you the communication sessions. If it's worthwhile, I'll consider it. I'll look it up uh, before we finish up the LP, and if it's worthwhile, I will consider showing it off. But for now, I think she's going to be sort of benched. She is a mage, or a sage rather, and she uses tomes uh, pretty nicely, but not the strongest one in the battlefield, that's for sure. However, we do have the A-Ring conversation between Krom and Sumia, so let's check that out. My love. Krom, hello! Hmm? Oh, hey Sumia. Hello. Look, I baked you another pie. Listen. Sumia, you are too much. Where do you find all the time and energy for this? Oh, it's nothing really. Hardly any trouble at all. Except for finding veggies, and grinding flour, oh, and kneading dough. But apart from that, it's easy as, well, pie! I like doing it, really, honest. Good. Well, if you say so. Yes! Oh, I do say so. And today I made an extra big one so we could eat it together. <laughs> A pie shared with friends is twice as tasty. Oh, friend zoned or as my old nurse Nan said. Listen, Sumia. I'm... I'm sorry. About bringing you into all of this, I mean. You deserve better than a battlefield, but right now that's where, you, where I need you. <sighs> oh, Krom, it's an honor and a privilege to serve you. Besides, serving as a soldier isn't all bad. There are lots of things I like about it. What? Truly? Like what? Yes. Well, the horses are fun. Hmm. You mean the Pegasus? Or Pegasus's Pegasi? <laughs> Those two, I just love swooping through the sky. It's so exhilarating. But I like looking after them even more. Combing manes, brushing teeth. Right. You do spend a lot of time in the stables now that I think about it. I do hate that they have to fight when I see them in the thick of battle. I know we need them if we're doing this war. It can't be helped. But it makes my heart ache every time I see such a beautiful creature hurt. Good. Good! What? I don't know what to say, Sumia, except thank you again. Thank you for all the sacrifices you're making for my sake. I swear that I will do everything in my power to end this war quickly. And I promise to build a peace that will endure for generations. Here goes! I know you will, Krom, and I'm going to help you do it. So clearly she's head over heels for him, and I feel kind of bad for uh, not having them get together in the end, but... It certainly doesn't seem that, like, Sumia holds any ill will towards Robin or any other character for uh, tying the knot with him instead of her, which I appreciate, and, um, I don't know, I'm not jazzed about the relationship between the two of them. Obviously, like, she's not super obsessive with him. Clearly, she has a crush on him, but, like, to the point where it's like, I, I don't know, she's like, oh, I'll do anything for you, and, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just, like, making a bigger deal out of it than I should be. It's more so just bringing back memories of Fae from Fire Emblem Echoes. Not from Fire Emblem Fates, but... Oh my god. Without question, Fae might actually be more hated by me than, uh, Henry and Creepy Handman. She is so stinking annoying because she's so obsessed with Alm, and, like, every stinking sentence that comes out of her is just saying how, like, she wants to stink and be with Alm, and, like, she, uh kind of hates the other main character Celica for uh, being so close with him even though they're all supposed to be friends she's like I want to murder her I'm sort of okay with her getting killed and stuff if I could just like suck Alm's face later on and like she's one of those characters where like they don't care about the uh, drastic situation they're in as long as they get to sleep with their uh, special someone at the end of the day so uh, it's sort of hello uh, winzip23 update can you not pop up on my computer right now thank you Um, it's sort of like um, just sort of I, one of my biggest gripes with shows or games or anything like that are characters that like do not care about the drastic situation they're in at all. They only care about themselves and their love interest. Uh, it's sort of like, I know I'm going to get a lot of people mad at me for this, but I noticed a lot of that in Sailor Moon, how Usagi or 
Serena, or whatever you want to call her, like, did not care at all in a lot of situations as to uh, what the fate of the world was like. She was just like, I just want a paint tuxedo mask. Oh my god, senpai. Uh, it was really stinking annoying. <laughs> but then again, I watched Sailor Moon Crystal, so maybe that's just a crystal problem. I don't know. But it's something that's just really annoying. I absolutely despise that. And, uh, it happens in canon as well in a really, really terrible situation. I'm not going to spoil what happens exactly, but uh, that character's not likable <laughs> But by the end of it. Uh, but yeah, she's not... Uh, Sumi is not nearly as bad as Faye, but like just sort of the parallels to it, I kind of like it as much. But Faye is so annoying, my god. Oh my god. Any, anytime there's any sort of communication sessions with other characters, literally any of them try to get close to her, and she's just like, oh no, I don't actually want to get anywhere near you. I just want to be with Alm. I don't care about anyone but Alm. I just want to like suck him so stinking hard, and like that, I don't know why I'm like being so vulgar with this. But then like, when she slowly starts opening up to people, she's like, oh, we could talk about Alm if you want to. I'll be okay with that. If you like Alm, I like Alm. Do you like Alm? Because I think you should like Alm. She's like, it's so annoying. Uh, I may or may not have a lot of gripes with this character in case you didn't tell. Uh, well, it's just the, a birthday event has occurred, but like, I'm recording this in the same day that I'm recording. I recorded the last episode. Why is it just now giving me the birthday event? But yeah, they actually do notify you when your character's birthdays pop up. Uh, for Robin, you could make their birthday whatever you want. I made it my own birthday, May, May 22nd, so we weren't going to see in the LP. But as for this birthday, I honestly have no idea who it is. Uh, it is... We saved Emreen on her birthday. That's why it didn't activate at the beginning of the recording. Oh my god. Jesus, I swear, I promise you. I did not plan for this. I swear to stinking god. I don't know any of the characters' birthdays. I remember in my first playthrough, the only birthday I actually saw a uh, note get notified for me was Long Ku. It was just funny to see him all happy in the little corner and be like, it's Long Ku's birthday. I just thought that was funny, but we rescued her on her stinking birthday. That is amazing. Today, I feel strong. She gets a stat boost for her birthday. How wonderful. I learned more about this place. And she got experience. What? Who? Celica's Gale. Speaking of Celica. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm, I'm all flustered. Like, oh my god. That makes that horrible fight all the more worth it. I'm so happy I didn't record this LP like all throughout. I didn't finish the recording of the entire LP yesterday. That was perfect stinking timing. Oh my god. It's her birthday today. What day is it even? It's March 11th when I'm recording this, so... That is insane. Oh my god. So you just get a bunch of rewards for playing on certain characters' birthdays. Well, we'll, you, we'll take her birthday present and put it to good use. Very cool weapon from a very cool character. I like Celica a lot. I wouldn't mind if... Uh, well, she does have a sword. Like, I feel like she would be an Ecuador Robin, so maybe not a good idea to have her in Smash Bros. Because then people would be like, Oh my god, why are there so many fire emblems? Oh, uh, Waste is just a double hitter. Rex Caliber. That's a great singer name. Devastating Wind Magic. I think we're fine without that. Uh, let's go to the next bonus box. And, or bonus map, rather. Ghost of a Blade. Gonna head all the way over there now. Uh, now that I'm done ranting and raving about, well, mainly ranting, I guess, about sinking how much I hate Faye. Uh, there's a lot of Anna shops, so let me just go check those out real quick. A lot of sinking Risen on the world map now. I guess because Grima's here and all that, so it makes sense that they'd be a lot more common. But still. Uh, let me just check to see what these guys have. They have a killer bow, don't really care. Wait, you could buy rapiers? I didn't think you could. Okay. So it's a special Anna item. Uh, I definitely want that stuff, though. Oh, come on in. Gonna take the Draco Shield, the Goddess Icon, and the Spirit Dust. We're running kind of low on money, but it's the end of the adventure, so it should be okay. Uh, we did get a Boolean, though, didn't we? 
It might be in someone's inventory. It is in... Hello? I know we got money in the last episode. Um, okay. Not forge. Oh, here it is right here at the beginning. Sell that. Okay, we're good. You know the drill. I'll check my inventory, make sure we're ready to go, and then we'll go. See you in a moment. Oh, another Brock opened up, sure. Uh, anything special? It's just uh, Gregor, it seems. He got magic and skill. Very useful for him, of course. No, not really. Uh, in case you're curious, Emreen is level 10 when we get her. Could we use a, We cannot use a Master Seal on her. Sage is her uh, maxed out class in that category, I suppose. But we could upgrade her into a Falcon Knight, Dark Flyer, Valkyrie, War Cleric, a Pegasus Knight, and Trabador, or regular Cleric. In case you were wondering. Uh, I don't think we checked out Walmart and Grangle as well, but... Uh, let's see. Great Knight, General, Wyvern Lord, Griffin Rider, Knight, Wyvern Rider. Oh, Wyvern Lord and Wyvern Wire, okay. Try to find ass. Wyvern Lord and Wyvern Rider. That's a big stinking ton twister. And Conqueror, but isn't he already a Conqueror? Okay, whatever. And Grangle, wherever he is, he could be turned into... Berserker, Warrior, Assassin, Dark Knight, Sorcerer, Barbarian, Thief, Dark Mage. Cool beans. Okay, now that's taken care of, let's go ahead into Paralog 21. Hmm. I see some sort of ruins ahead. Right. Not ruins, my lady, but a tomb made to honor the spirits of our greatest warriors. They are in life as warriors who were built chosen up from the earth. But not with the stone or mortar did they work. They founded our country with steel. And any true child of Chosen knows their titles like family. The holy sword, the demon's edge, the red hilt. They struggled all of their lives and found respite only in the grave. But now is a place overtaken by reason. And neither living nor dead can know peace. I see. We've heard ill rumors about this place of late. Townsfolk are claiming they've seen your brother, Yen Fei, roaming the grounds. <clears throat> I, of all people, know my brother's death was certain. The dead do not return, and to dream otherwise is the province of fools. Yen Fei is gone. Right. You say the dead do not return, my lady. And yet, what of the Risen? If such a thing is possible, then perhaps your brother... Nay. Knight, this truly itself to place such mad thoughts into my head. Though if he did escape the Reaper's clutch, I'd dearly love to talk to him once more. I wonder if he survived or not. Uh, but yeah, it is required to have Seiri in this battle in order to recruit someone. I can't imagine who it could possibly be. Uh, we're not bringing Emery into battle. I don't think we ever will, unfortunately. Uh, Walmart, I don't want to use you more than once, more than I have to, rather. Get Basile and Flavia back in action. Uh, let's see, do we have... Sounds kind of crummy to be grave robbing this place, but... Is there stuff that we could be robbing? <laughs> Robin? No. Not stuff that we could be robbing, but we could still be using Robin. I'm hilarious. I'm the best Let's Player of all time. How could you ever watch anyone else? Oh my god. Um. Let's think about this. Anna... Sari, well, we're definitely using Sari, it's just like, I'm not working with Anna, communicating with anyone aside from Robin, but that one's not really crucial to me. So I guess I'll be benching her and getting Flavia back in here. Olivia. Hmm. Let's bench, now that we got Sumia maxed out, let's bench her for a bit and go with Olivia. And I think we'll be good to go. We'll view the map real quick, Co. Real quick, Co. It's like real kick, Co. No. 
Uh, let's put... I'm gonna put chairs right here, so... Well, how many archers do we gotta work our way through? N one, okay. Good to know. Uh, Sayuri, you'll be teaming up with her. Uh, later on, though. Lucina, put you down here so you can get up, get with Tiki. And then Basilo and Flavia. Uh, the ones I could just mess around with, I guess. Let's go! Hmm. Yenfei is dead, and I know better. Let me offer up this blade to his sister in hope uh, to buy peace for us all. So he's actually going to be on our side right from the get-go, which is nice. Uh, yeah, he has a killing edge. Nothing else, though. Hopefully that's all he ever needs, though. Uh, let's get Sayuri with Cherish. We will have Lucina with... Why do you hate me? Flavia with uh, Basilo. Is there child Flavia plus Basilo? Would their ship name be Flavio? Uh, I forgot to not think about it. Um, We'll have... I guess long coup with uh, pain. Not really trying to work towards any more communication sessions, so I guess I'll just be pairing people up for the heck of it. Um, or just be pairing them up with their strongest allies. Uh, so let's go ahead and get you guys moving over here. Uh, 69% chance, but with the power of the 69, how could we possibly go wrong? Like See, nothing to worry about. No, oh, except for my voice disappearing. That's always fun. Uh, what do we got? Nothing over here. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of him. I appreciate it. Oh, why'd you miss? God darn it. Why a double hit? That's crummy. It hardly ever happens. Um, so he's helping us from the start, so we don't have to worry about him like attacking us. We just need to have Sayuri talk to him before the chapter ends. Uh, Brave X, but... I don't know. I'm just like somewhat paranoid that like... Well, we gotta rid of this guy, never mind. So, just something in the back of my mind is telling me that like, he'll... He doesn't know who Seri is yet until we attack him. Like, oh, what is all these, like, the bad guys are all like, oh, I die, therefore I'm just, like, a skeleton walking on the land who hasn't been taken away quite yet. Like, just sneak and admit that you're not dead and stuff. You're sneaking here, just accept it and move on and help us uh, with our greater cause, all that jazz. Uh, we'll have Robin and. Robin and Crom. It's kind of a dangerous pair when you think about it, because, like, Having both of the game over dudes teamed up with each other, so they can't shield each other. I'll have Lissa with Robin and Crom with Frederick, I suppose. Olivia's on her own, buddy. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, attack this guy, I guess. Dragon up! I think I'm going to be using that Seat of Trust on Flavia and Basile just because they didn't get any action the previous fight. And I feel like Tiki and Lucina will be maxing out in this chapter, or at least they better be because they're running out of paralogs. Uh, we'll have Frederick go... Frederick dies easily, so that's not a good idea. Uh, we'll have him right here then. Uh, Crumb's level 20, so let's just keep Frederick out in the front. I couldn't have reached him, could I? Was that like a really dumb move? They just did all of you. Like, what are you doing? Never, never, never. Hopefully not. Uh, I just want to get over to sinking what's his face first, and time for the counterattack. So something that I've been wanting to talk about, but I just kept on forgetting about it. I made like a reference to it, but I just like it slipped my mind right last second. Uh, Reggie Fisame, he has announced his retirement from Nintendo of America. He's uh, dropping from his position of uh, the North American president. And, I don't know, I've got a lot of mixed feelings about it. Like, I'm really sad to see him go, of course. But, like, uh, something that someone said, it is kind of a... Oh, jeez. It's kind of an oh, jeez. Come on, please, just get rid of him. Thank you. But, uh, can, like, no one else reach him, please? I would appreciate it. Okay, cool. But, um... What I was trying to say is, oh, they're all risen, so I have to get rid of all of them. It's not that bad, only 25. 
guys this time. Where are you going, dude? I'm trying to reach you. Oh god. It has to be done. Oh, he's gonna be a pain in the butt to reach, isn't he? Who did I put her with? Sari is with. Ugh! You're annoying, dude. You know that. I appreciate you helping out, but I can't have you running off like that. Uh, could Krom talk to him by any chance? No, he can't. He'll only talk to Sari. Uh, let's just go over here, I guess. We just have to catch up to them. Uh, any archers? Uh, we got one right there. Okay. We just have to get up there as soon as we can. Yeah, as I was saying, um... I'm sad to see him go, of course, because, like, there's so many great memories we have of him and everything. He was a great guy, did a lot for the company, all that jazz, but... Something that someone brought up was that it was sort of a breath of fresh air to have, like... A big time like celebrity or just like high in power like a figure in a company just like uh he wasn't like he didn't pass away like a lot of uh tragic tragic horrible death stuff happened in the past couple of years well, happens every year of course but like i feel like a lot of very impactful ones in uh this community have happened over the course of the past couple of years and um of course there are, like a lot of people who get removed from companies because of unfortunate uh, scandalous reasons but like Reggie he wasn't part of that, any of that he wasn't he didn't leave because of a scandal he didn't uh, leave because of sickness or anything like that he is just done yeah he's like kind of old but like not even though he's like 60 something he's like just not even 65 yet or is he 55 I can't remember but um he said he leaves in good health and he's just going to spend time with his family and that's all he really wants at this point because like he has enough money to last him for the rest of his life, and that's good enough for him, and he was able to leave the company in good hands, so he wasn't just, like, abandoning the company or anything like that, or letting it fall to the ground. He wasn't looking out for just himself. He's just, uh, good to go, basically, and he knows that we'll be fine without him, so... It was really, uh, kind of... It was sad to see him go, but, of course, it was kind of, uh, a good note to end on, I suppose. Um, there's probably going to be at least one more Nintendo Direct uh, before E3, so I'm hoping that he will um, appear in it in some way, and there'll be some sort of, like, celebration of his legacy. I know that, like, they had that video where they showed all the stuff that he's done over the years, but, um, I would like it if he appeared in the one more Nintendo Direct before he said goodbye. Um, he said he retires in April, and there's definitely going to be a Nintendo Direct in April since we had one in February, and um, it didn't uh, it wasn't super crazy or anything like that, and having one in April and then having E3 in June, I think that's fine. So, it'd be weird if, like, we went this long without one. Because they usually do, like, a, a Nintendo Direct right before E3. It's like, hey, let's get all this stuff out of the way so we can focus on cooler stuff at E3 or whatever. So, I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Uh, but yeah, I actually, I don't think I've talked about the Nintendo Direct at all at any point. So, is he riding something? No, he's not, so... Uh, I guess we'll use that. Um, but yeah, um, the Nintendo Direct, it was so boring, the most recent one. I'm sorry, but, like, there was absolutely nothing that interested me in it, and it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, the big reveal in there was, uh, Link's Awakening is getting a remake on the Switch. And while it looks cool and all, I can't really be all that excited about paying $60 for, uh shinier Game Boy game that I already own on the 3DS, so... And especially since it's gonna last me, like, five five hours at most or something like that, because it's a Game Boy game, so... I don't know, I'm not super jazzed about it. Also, I'm just not a big Zelda fan in general, as I've uh, said a lot recently, it seems like, and just make more and more people upset whenever I say it. So, that's just sort of where I stand on that, but, like, that Nintendo Direct, like, it was actually the first one I actually streamed, because I've been trying to get more into streams, and I thought it'd be fun to, like, uh, show my live reaction to that. Well, first off, no one showed up, and second, it was so boring. I'm sorry, but, like, I just did not enjoy it at all. Uh, yeah, these two are already maxed out to level 20, so, like, just attack with whatever, or whoever. Oh, but hopefully we'll have a more exciting Nintendo Direct. How awesome would it be if, like, right as Reggie was leaving, he was the one to announce Mother 3? I know it's, like, it's probably not up to him and him alone. Well, I don't know, he's Nintendo of America, so maybe. 
maybe he could say yes or no to it. But like, with all the sinking memes, like, uh, Reggie has been like, the voice of Nintendo when it comes to telling us we're not getting Mother 3, so... It would be incredibly impactful for him to be the one to announce it, like... Right when he was like, uh, saying, uh, in the leaving video, he was saying like, uh, in April I'll be dropping the title that's meant so much to me. I thought like, wait, he's releasing, a, he's announcing a title in April? What the heck is he talking about? Is it gonna be Mother 3? But like, no, he was dropping the title of President, like the name President from himself. Uh, that's what he meant by that. So, I got really excited, uh, for a second when I was like, oh, that's what he meant. But, there's gotta be one more Nintendo Direct, and like, all this, like, I know we say this every year, but like, all the stars align for Mother 3 to get announced, so... Oh my god, like, when you think about it, it's just like... Uh, Nintendo's, like, what is it? This is, we're in the year of the boar, the uh, year of the pig, so that's perfect for Mother 3. It's Mother 3's 10th anniversary this year, I think? Either 10th anniversary or it's the Mother Series' 30th anniversary? That seems weird, I don't think that's true, but, um, I'll have Teresa tell me what exactly, what anniversary it is this year. Good it's the year of the pig, it's an anniversary for the Mother Series. Reggie leaving in April, like, having some sort of final announcement and a final direct for him. Come on, it, come on, it's just gotta sink and happen. I'm trying to avoid using the obvious phrase that starts with come on and involving Reggie, but... It's gotta be in the thing where it's like... How would they just mention it? And like, he's... hasn't... there's never been an outright no. Well, there has been an outright no, kind of, saying that he's heard a bunch of outcry. I don't know, I gotta... The problem is when I come up with these really cool conversations to talk about things, I just stop doing things on the screen, so it doesn't actually uh, fulfill any uh, time within the video because I'm just making the video longer because I'm not actually doing anything like right now. God darn it. Go ahead and, and finally... I can't switch over here. God darn it. Switch to Seiri and talk to Yenfei. Yenfei! Merci, but this cannot be. How are you alive? Seiri. Forgive me, but I am not your brother that you how could you say such when I see you stand before me? Mm. Because it is truth. I am Yenfei, yet not the Yenfei kin you to you. I do not belong in this world. How do you mean? Fime, brother, but I do not know it. I do not ken it. How can... Wait, Yenfei, don't go! Uh, he's on our side now, though, so we can transfer... Uh, him into our party. Uh, put them together. I think that's, uh, well suitable. Go and do that. Switch to Seiri. Keep him safe. And we got weapon proficiency. Cool. So yeah, what I was gonna say is like, uh, so many things line up for Reggie to like give us one final announcement. Like, there's never been an outright no of Mother 3. They said they wanted to, but like it was just never in the cards. And like, say, ask us in a year and... Uh, we'll see where we stand, but, like, they never follow up on that, and... I don't know, like, I'm not adding anything new to the table, I know this has been a discussion for years. It's just... Like... I'm still holding out. I've... There have been points where, like, I was 100% hopeful saying, like, it's not gonna happen, it's not going to... Ever... Uh, get done. Um, but, like, some things in the recent past, that like, so much mother information or news that makes you think it's going to happen. Like... Uh... We got so many over here. Uh, so many things like, um, a Mother 1 game brought to the Wii U. That was really amazing. I know Mother 1's a bit of a different case because that that translation had already, uh, more or less finished up already. So, uh, it was already complete. It was just never released. And then, same thing with Star Fox 2. How that was like a miracle that that game saw the light of day on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. But again, it was completed, just never released. So, uh, Mother 3 is a case in which it didn't ever get worked on, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's ever been confirmed or not, if they ever attempted working on the translation, or if they just looked at the time frame and was like, it's too late for North America because by the time it would have taken them to release like a text-heavy RPG, uh, the DS would have already been well on its way in North America and nobody would be interested in buying a brand new Game Boy Advance game, especially for a series that no one really cared about back then, even... Uh, at that point in time, it wasn't until Brawl, I think, that people actually gave a darn about the Mother franchise. Even though Ness was in Melee and Smash 64, I still think that people just did not care until uh, Brawl came out. And uh, once Lucas... Because, like, I was sort of the same way in uh, Smash 
uh, melee. I hated. I specifically hated Nez uh, with a burning passion in melee. Like I did not understand him. First of all, I just didn't like him on a gameplay standpoint. I didn't understand the PK Thunder. I was like, why does he have a triple jump? Why is this like the stupid little thunder thing? Doesn't do any damage. I hate it. And even still, like I main Ness in every single Smash Bros. game except for uh, melee. I just cannot get. I cannot deal with his controls in that game. And it's really singing weird and annoying, but that's how it is. And another thing was that I, um, I just thought he was a stupid looking character. Cause like, I didn't know where he was from or who he was. It was just weird. Just like this stupid little kid with like a, it looked like Ash Ketchum kind of, but it was just like a, a chubby or tinier version of him. And it was just kind of whatever to me. He was just like this random kid from a random city in town is what the stage told me and I didn't really care about him at all uh, the foresight stage in uh, melee I never I never compared it to earthbound because like every time you fight Pichu in uh, melee he's always on the foresight stage I don't know why that is but because of that I always associated the foresight stage with Pichu so that was a thing and still I just did not like Nez I actively hated him but then when uh, Smash Bros. Brawl came out and there was another mother character that was Lucas, I was like, wait, what? Why would they give us another character that's like Ness from the same game? Like, is he important? He must be a big deal then if they gave us another character. And then the cutscene scene him in uh, Subspace Emissary, I love that moment in the story. Even when I knew nothing about those characters, that moment just like really made an impact on me because it was so intense. And I wanted to know what it was all about. And it was because of that that got me into the Mother series, and my god, what a series to get into. It is an absolute legend. It deserves all the legacies that it has and that you hear about it. And the absolute diehard, adoring fan base. it is well-deserved in my opinion. It's an amazing game, and the people behind it are even more incredible. Oh boy, but it is... Uh, everything. I absolutely adore the Mother series. If I wasn't the Knights guy, I would be the Mother guy. I think I've said that before, which, like, that's just how much that series means to me. If I was not obsessed with Knights, I would be obsessed with the Mother series. I'd be, I don't know what I would be. I'd be like, uh, Midnight Bound or something like that. Bound Beyond or something. I have no idea, but so many things would have changed if I, like, went down that route. And part of me kind of wishes I did, because... Not to, like, bash the Knights franchise or the Knights fan base or anything like that. They've had, like, a lot of legendary uh, fan community moments. The ones responsible for Knights and Dreams HD even existing. So, it's, they're an example of how fan outcry and uh, community can make a difference in what does not doesn't get created. But, in terms of just, like, um, uh, the history and the impact and whatnot, like, Mother's, Mother's community definitely has a lot more of a history to it. And a lot more things happening within it, but I just wish I was part of that. Like, even if I was invested in it, like, it probably wouldn't have changed much because, like, I just got into the internet way too late. So, I can't pretend to be part of uh, the stuff way back then when, like, submitting, like, all those uh, petitions and being part of those campaigns and all that jazz. Like, I can't pretend to be I was a part of that. I wasn't around back then. Just a little Babu Midnight who wasn't uh, yet aware of all this stuff. I really wish I was, though, because it would have been amazing to be part of that. Uh, let's see. 36, 31. Let's go with you. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. I wish I was part of that. So stinking badly, but... Uh, I just have to enjoy the history that's happening right now. I got to be part of Mother 1's announcement. My Mother 1 Let's Play was happening, like, literally the second to last episode went up the day that Mother 1 got announced. So, it just felt amazing for that to happen, like... Uh, of course, people were like, there's always a joke with like my group of friends where like whenever we're let's play anything and then an announcement uh, related to that game happens, then like we're the ones responsible for it. It's so, like, oh hey, if Dovey's let's playing a Katamari game, then a Katamari game gets announced of he was the one responsible for it. So like I felt responsible for uh, Mother 1 getting announced because I was let's playing it at the time. It was crazy. So of course, it's up to me to make Mother 3 happen. So I just got to get that let's play started as soon as possible. It's all up to me. So you can blame me, then you'd be like, come on, Midnight, give us Mother 3! Uh, let's see. No one has a, a bow. Oh, this guy does. He has a tomahawk. I don't think he could reach Cherish, though. Uh, she does have low HP, though. I kind of wish I could heal her before I send her out into the open. 
let's go with this. But yeah, I'm still going to be... I know it's like, uh, it seems like an impossible, but I'm going to be holding out for Mother 3 to become a reality in America one day till the bitter end of my bitter existence, I suppose. And I do mean bitter, let me tell you about it now. Uh, but yeah, it's stinking crazy, just everything that that franchise has gone through. And I'm happy to be part of even a little bit of it. I, um... Oh, I was hoping for Pick a God and Pray. Uh, I got to see some incredible stuff at Camp Fangamer when I went there, and it was uh, just a small glimpse and a small example of how amazing that community is. And that that uh, specific Camp Fangamer that I went to wasn't even Earthbound-based, because, like, there was three of them. And the first one was about Earthbound, the second one was about Mother 3, and this one was more so about Undertale, I feel like. Uh, so I didn't get to see, like, a mother focused uh camp fan gamer but even still there was so much mother love for that uh stinking uh, event and i'm glad i got to be a part of it i really hope it happens again i would love to go again uh let's see just could not catch a break with any of these guys hello this isn't good soul kadi that's a cool sword i would like it if we got it afterwards thank you for guarding Come on, give us something good. Uh, missing is not good, Fresh or Krom. But I do appreciate the double guard. It's like double dare, or something like that. Yeah, this is such a fresh uh, breath of fresh air after the stinking other episode. Uh, where it was like I, almost a two hour recording just trying to save stinking Emerine, but this one was a million times easier and a million times shorter. So I very much appreciate that. Uh, what do we got now? Just avoid that. Kick him in the face. And up next we got... Oh, all these guys are coming down. Coming down to the ground. Thank you for dodging. Okay. Just gotta wrap this up. We'll probably wrap it up next turn. If we're lucky. Why can't I do that with the 11 sword and smash bros and stuff? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Where's Lucina? See, so you're over here, kind of useless. Uh, wait, no, maybe not entirely useless. There we go. Dragon up. And we are good. Okay, just growing their bond more and more. Let's have you two go over here. Uh, we'll have Flavia do it, I guess. It's good. She's more likely to kill people. I don't know if I should be using, keep on using Hector's axe like this, because it is really useful. It's our most powerful weapon, but I don't know. We still got a final boss to take down at some point. It's like how I am with like every RPG. I'm just like, I gotta save all my good stuff for the final boss. Can't use any healing items until the very end. Uh, Siri and Yenfei will go over here. Um, part of me kind of wants to just leave them to their devices just because um, I want uh, Flavia, I want Flavia's group and Lucina's group to be the ones getting experience. And this is level 20, that's cool. Um, I want these guys to be getting the most experience out of this, so I'm tempted to just leave it at that. I'm gonna regret this probably. Uh, thank you for guarding. Attack, attack. Oh geez, a critical. I am defeated. That's not good for Krom. Well, at least he wasn't fighting the boss. Okay, they're not going for him. Good. Just survive that. Very painful attack. Can you dodge this? Right. Unlikely. Oh, you can though! Soul heals you, right? It does. Okay, good. That's nice. Uh, we got uh, Pain, who's probably going to kill you in one hit, because that's what she does. She is amazing. And Lanku, helping out, is very nice as well. Uh, this guy, and then one more afterwards. So I think Krom's safe. The uh, famous last words, I know. Okay. And finally, this guy. Kick some tail. Are you listening to DK rap? To kick some tail. 
Uh, would have been a good idea to actually go over there for the sparkly workly. What is wrong with me, I wonder? How could I forget about the precious sparkly workly? Oh, uh, Tiki. Can't reach anyone except the boss. Well, it's a risen, so I assume we have to defeat him. Or defeat everyone on the field. Not just the boss, but whatever. Let's go and do that. We're good. Garg. He's gone. Uh, Soul Caddy. Mir Miramadon classes only. Resistance plus five. A Plainsman's Blade. We don't have any Mirabandons with us, right? Oh, wait, Olivia's a Mirabandon, whatever that is. Good to know. Well, she could use the sword. That's nice, because her soul's about to... Oh, wait, the soul isn't about to run. I've been good with keeping that up. Uh, Let's go ahead and get rid of you, I guess. Um, You're the only one with a physical... Well, you have a bow. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, you can, and you definitely will. Get that experience. Uh, Lissa, I need you to heal Flavia from afar. And I think we are good. Uh, pair Krom up with Olivia just for protection purposes. Because knowing my luck, it would be like... Very, very fitting to just have one of them go over to Crom and be like, oh, let's kill him right now. And what do we got? I just got three of them left. So as long as Flavio just uh, survive it, then we should be good. Just all these 11 swords that were kind of annoying. And finally, this guy is going to probably kill her. Hooray. I make good life choices. Okay, at least we got one more uh, fight in with them. Shouldn't be too terrible. Uh, Lucina and Tiki. Get over here. Get rid of this guy. At least do some damage and get a communication session, please, at the end of this. Okay. Uh, attack. Or you can miss. Lucina, pick up the slack. Very, very nice. Uh, let's see. You two could go right here. It is experience. Okay, great. Uh, don't really care, because I want to have Tiki fight them all, just to get all them, uh, stat buffs. Jeez, a lot of damage. Basilo's all alone, he's so sad. And now he's all dead. Wee, I fly in the air, and I fall on my face. I'm the best warrior ever. Player phase, Lucina, do what you do best, and murder someone's face. I did not mean to use that sword, though. There we are. And finally, enemy phase. Do that. Oh, well, Pain's gonna kill you. Okay, sure. If you want to get killed by Pain, it's like, it's the only way they can sabotage my plan. Well done. And we're done. MVP, Lucina and Tiki, surprising absolutely no one. Explain yourself, brother. You died, yet here you stand. How could you be a different Yanfei than my brother? Perhaps he's from a different world, or a different time. We've certainly had our fair share of that lately. Verily so. It is as you say. But if you're from the future, how? Listen. A different future, with a different past. A past most terribly cruel. When I failed to protect that which I held most dear, Life lost all meaning. I did not desire to come to this world, but fate, it seems, has a taste for irony. Fie. That which you held the most dear? Oh. You lost your sister. You lost Seiri. I. Just so. How do you mean? You lived in place of me? Mm. I was a weak fool and could not make the sacrifice required to see you safe. I'm pleased this world's Yenfei was made of stern and metal. <laughs> to gods with this metal! He's... He had no right to make that choice for me! I wish he'd made the same choice you did. I wish he was still unhappy and free. A sentiment I know all too well. Yenfei. Seiri. I'm not your brother, 
and nor are you my sister. But to let me atone for the mistakes of my own past by dedicating my blade to you. Another ally has been obtained. I like that explanation a lot more than just saying, oh hey, we didn't actually kill them. They just ran off and they, they were sinking weenie. They are just saying that they're dead. Uh, having from him from a different time, kind of like how we have two different Robins uh, who just went down different paths. I very much appreciate this writing a bit more. But either way, we have a new ally and we're still not done collecting them. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, We'll continue our search for anyone else who may not have actually gotten killed. It's the last one, I promise. At least in that sense. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.